the Delaware County Drainage District Number One to order. Let the minutes reflect that this meeting has been duly called and the notice of this meeting has been posted in accordance with the Texas Open Meetings Act. It is now 1.30 p.m. We will begin with a roll call to establish quorum. David Fuentes, Precinct 1. And Joe Flores, Precinct 3. Richard Cortez, County Judge, that constitutes a quorum. Yes, you would. Rich leads some prayer. Thank you. Let us pray. Father God, again, we give you thanks for another day that you've given us to serve, Lord. We continue to pray uh, for all those that are serving, Lord. Uh, just continue to pray for this elected body that you appoint, Lord, to judge more commissioners. Uh, continue to provide them with your wisdom, Lord. Continue to provide them with your insight and also your peace, Lord, as they make the decisions that continue to affect us all, Lord. And continue to ask for your same wisdom for myself, for all the workers of Great County, all the leaders of this Great County, Lord. We just, uh, we give thanks in this week, um, being Thanksgiving week, Lord, uh, that we know that all good comes from you, Lord. And, uh, we just continually ask for guidance in all that we do, Lord. Uh, we pray for everyone uh, that is in need. Uh, we know that our county has a lot, a lot of need, Lord. We just continue to ask for uh, your blessing upon us all. I ask this in the Son of Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Do we have anybody sign up for open no, forum? Sir, okay. Next item is the approval of the consent agenda. Uh, just in the consent agenda, we just have uh, the, the standard item of approval of, of, of bills and so forth, and then um, some uh, interdepartmental uh, moves that we're doing, um, funding wise, and then utility permits, um, and then uh, payment of. Uh, of uh, invoices on various projects and so forth, but everything has been reviewed by my engineering staff and my accounting staff, and we recommend approval. Most approval. Okay, well, hold on. A I, I I wanted to on the financial advisors. I'm not picking on it, but I just have a question on that one. What what item is that? It should be on the regular agenda. Oh, is that on the regular agenda? I thought it was in the consent no, agenda. No, there's well, general operations four. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought it was in the consent agenda. Four okay. on the consent. Then. Oh, okay, hold on. Approval to exercise district option and renew extended contract for financial advisory. Would you like to move that into the, move it out of consent, sir, and for discussion in regular? I just have a quick question. Okay. Yeah. So if we can move that one out. Of course. For a separate discussion. So we'll move for a. We have a motion for everything else? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. And one opposed, motion carries. So we'll take 4A now, sir, that was moved to the general, which... Yeah, the um, only question that I had is, you know, the county entered into an agreement with them uh, starting, I believe, this year. So that's not that's not the contract that you have. You have a an older contract. Pre-existing, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I would like to see him... Con I would like to see him consistent, wouldn't you, wouldn't you? I will concur with that, Judge, and I was not aware that that had happened, but we can definitely not take action on this item. Opportunity to review those both items and let your office uh, lead that discussion well, uh, regarding... Well, if, if, if they can just be... I think that would be good. Identical, I, 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 then, then I, haven't, good. I, haven't, I haven't looked at it, honestly, Judge, okay. on what the county has done, so we can definitely compare both and then visit with the consultant. I think that... I don't have any objection. I think that would be good. I'm sorry, can you clarify? You just want that the... Time be concurrent that, that the contract the, no, the terms. I'm, I, I, I think he's referring I, I think, to the terms I, I think, and whatever. I think their, their charges are a little different. We, we negotiated a little, a little different, uh, a little less, I believe, as I recall, and we eliminated some uh, some retainers. Retainers. Okay. We can definitely so, look. So what's the proposal? Then? You're gonna. The proposal is we're not going to take any action. He's going to go back and see if they will agree to. Making those modifications that would be equal to the e equal to the one that we have with the county. Will there be a lapse? Okay. Will there be so, some period of time that we don't have coverage? Right, and that's that's where the Hyman was just advising me, Commissioner. Um, we would, and I guess Leo can opine on this. We would uh, re recommend that the extension be granted, subject to working out the details of the of the negotiations or the the details okay. of the of the actual agreement. I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah. Could that be okay? So we have a mo may I have a motion to that regard? Go right, ahead. and and just to clarify, it's to allow the administration to negotiate terms consistent with what the counties is approving the the extension Correct. of those terms. Correct. Move for approval. Second. Okay. okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. 
Thank you. Um, 5A, request to improve local cooperation agreement with Don Irrigation District relates to maintenance of the South Don and Drain Extension. Move for approval. Second. Opposed in favor say aye. Aye. And when opposed, motion carries. Item 5B, request to approval closing documents parcel 26. It relates to precinct 3, mile 3 project. Authority for the chairman of the board to execute documents. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Item 5C, request from authority to advertise an approval of procurement packet, i.e. specifications requirement, legal notice, draft requirement, et cetera. As attached here, too, for Dr. Andre issue number one, drug and alcohol testing service, RFP number ACD 1-19078-1218, including the re-advertisement of the project in the event no bids are received and are rejected and the project is still required. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Item 5D, <coughs> requesting approval to purchase five John Deere. 6145M four wheel drive tractors with attached boom mowers from Tiger Corporation through the Dow County Drainage Board Number One membership participation with by board award <coughs> contract number 529 17, in total amount of $899,790.40, including a two year warranty. So, this is part of our maintenance and operation uh, that we're um, <coughs> looking at regarding district wide. Uh, five of these. Three of these will be to replace existing, and then two will be additional fleet. And the next year we'll be reevaluating and, and continue our investment in the maintenance that we have in our program. So, uh, this is something that we have budgeted. It's not, or it, it's, uh, it's not affecting our, our budget at all. Move for approval. Second. Any further discussion? Any surplus? Um, we'll, we'll definitely look at what we have. I mean, what we do, Commissioner. That's a that's a very good question. What we do, Commissioner, is we. Uh, we definitely look at the uh, condition of the tractor and we try to keep the tractor itself. What a lot of times, a lot of times what happens is the actual implement itself is what kind of wears down. Uh, but we can definitely discuss that with the, with the, you know, with the, the precinct, whatever we have available, we'll make it available. Uh, not, no problem at all. So a lot of times uh, because of the wear and tear of the system that we clean, it's a little different than you guys because you guys are doing more of the roadside ditches and so forth. You know, we're dealing with a lot more deeper areas and so forth so those implements tend to wear out a little bit more and most of the tractors that we have we end up keeping because we end up uh, converting them to cool type tractors where we can put cool type uh, shredders in the back instead of the ones with the with, you know with the mobile arm but yeah we'll definitely open up Mr. Salisado will be in charge of that okay. and we'll, we'll definitely continue those communications with the precincts whatever we can work with you on that of course I asked first <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. I, I have great thoughts. Uh, but Commissioner One, tell her she's Commissioner Four. <laughs> Commissioner Four, I'm at the end. Do we have a motion to approve? Yes. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Mm -hmm. Motion carried. Thank you. Item B, request and approval of the budget amendment to fund purchase item A in the amount of eight ninety nine seven eighty nine forty. Funds were received from HCW Debris Petroleum Corp. Oil and gas royalties in the amount of 976,905 47 cents. Approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. And opposed? Motion carried. Item E, request and approval to complete and submit the attached credit application document required by DME Machine Division Inc., including authority for general manager or designee to execute document. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. And one opposed? <coughs> Motion carried. Thank you. Item F, request and approval supplement agreement number two to agreement for professional drain service, LNG engineering drainage that relates to Farm McAllen Drain in South Florida Channel Watershed Improvement Project to amend the contract for <coughs> termination date to May 30th, 2020. There's no impact, just the extension of the date. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. And one opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Item G, one presentation of scoring gear for the purpose of the Board of Directors to declare rank the sole submitted response received from Burt McCumber and Longoria LLP as qualified in order to proceed to the next phase of the procurement process in connection with the request for qualifications for Independent Financial Audit Services, RFQ, ACD 1-19073-1113. Move for approval. Second. Second. Uh, but uh, just a quick comment. Uh, I know when we do, like, when there's a sole bid, it's not really competitive <coughs> with the rates as far as what they're proposing consistent with prior years. Does it water. go back some point in time? Or are we just ranking qualifications? Come here. Come, come. So, Mr. Chief, my, one, uh, my accounting uh, supervisor there. And, go ahead. Uh, yes, we're, we're leaving that to go into the negotiation process. This is to select. So, just uh, the qualifications, the right. experience, and such. Okay. And, uh, most likely, uh, historically, the <coughs> rates have been pretty consistent. As a matter of fact, what we end up, my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, sir. 
uh, true, what we end up doing is what we budget at the end, we end up not exceeding that budget, or actually we end up getting uh, investing less than what we budgeted when, when we, we go through this, this system, so, that's correct? That's correct. We just moved uh, 15000 and uh, so 15000 that we didn't utilize from last year's account. budget that we set aside. So, yes, sir, we look at that, and they've been pretty consistent. Ya que cambiaron el nombre, they've been... Yeah. Okay, anyway. are going down. <laughs> that was expensive. Any, any further oh, comments? <laughs> you wouldn't have any questions. Any further no, comments? No, no, no. <laughs> we have a motion for approval. Those in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carried. G2, pursuant to the board's approval, requesting authority for the drains district number one to enter into negotiations, finalize a letter of engagement for action by the board of directors with the qualified rank firm of Bart McCumber and Longoria LLP for the provisions of independent financial audit services. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. No one opposed. Motion carried. Thank you. Item 6A, your request and approval to accept the bids and award a construction contract to lowest and best bidder meeting all specified requirements. Sign Brothers Construction LLC for RFB number ACDD 1-19074-1113. Mission Ladder Section 1, 2018 Bond Referendum Project 26 for the base bid in the amount of $2,386,758.76 as recommended by Project Engineer Firm LNG Engineering, subject to legal approval and compliance with House Bill 1295. Approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Everyone opposed? Motion carried. So you're Adam. moving on a bond project already? Come again? You're moving up? You're already moving Oh, yes, sir. This is for the first segment. This is one of the areas that we have the right-of-way in place, Commissioner. Yeah. So we pushed that one design-wise. We're able to get that uh, expedite a little bit more. Yeah. So we're, you know, as we stated when we did our bond uh, proposals, a lot of these projects would move uh, a little bit faster because of existing right of way Some, as you know, are taking a little bit longer for acquisitions. And I just think it takes a minute to, we need to know, notify the public that we're already moving forward on construction on 2018 bond projects. That's an important Yeah, and aspect. we're working on a, on a program right now uh, to help us get that information out. So, yeah, uh, yeah we're going to so, be working on that. Good job, Joel. Uh, pursuant to text Logram code 262031 in the interest of expediting the project's progress, requesting authority. Approval for drains district general manager to execute change orders that involve an increase or decrease in cost of 50000 or less and in no event to exceed the change order statutory limits. The original contract price may not be decreased by 18% or more without the consent of the contractor. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Item B, requesting approval of final negotiated professional service agreement. Such legal review with is a given engineering group LLC as it relates to professional engineering service related to project 2018 bond referendum projects 1, 4, and 37. Three-quarter mile road and North Benson Road project. Drive Project 1, 4 Mile Road and Minnesota Road Project 4, Western Road Mile 9, mile nine <coughs> Line, Project 37, approved for negotiation by the Board of Directors on Agenda Item 70484. Rule. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. No one opposed. Motion carries. Thank you, Item B2. Pursuant to the Board's approval, professional agreement, let's get an <coughs> approved. LLC requesting approval of work authorization number one in the amount of $36,432.47 to provide engineering service for 2018 bond referendum projects 1, 4, and 37. A subject legal review and compliance with House Bill 1295. <coughs> Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Item C, requesting approval of final negotiated professional service agreement. Subject legal review with the ACG Engineering Group LLC as it relates to professional engineering service related to project 2018 Bonner Fender Project 7 and 29, seven and a half mile road and western road project 7, PD lateral project 29, approved for negotiation by the board of directors on agenda item 70484. Motion for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carried. And, and, uh, and also agenda item 69545. Uh, item 2, pursuant to the board's approval, a professional agreement with Instigator Engineering Group LLC requesting approval of work with their session number one, the amount of $418,925 to provide engineering service for 2018 <coughs> project 7 and 29, subject to legal review and compliance house bill 495. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Item D, your request and exception competitive bidding requirements, text logo and code 2620244A4 for fresh engineering services. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Item 2, presentation of scoring grid for the purpose of ranking board of directors of the firms graded and evaluated through the district's approved pool of engineering firms for the provision of professional engineering service for South Eye Road Detention 2018 Bond Referendum Project 33. BDC Engineering was 4953, Guzman Munoz 8967, and Strata Engineering 8833. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Item 3, percent of the board's approved, requesting authority for Dow Country Engineering 1 negotiated professional engineering service agreement 
Number one, Rand Perp, BDZ Engineering LLC for the provision of professional engineering service for South That Road Detention 2018 bond referendum project number 33. So move. Yes, second. Opposed in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Item 7A, request <coughs> acceptance of approval supplement agreement number two to work with issue number two to extend kids contract term to add subconsultants to revise contract rates reflecting an increase in the contract $295,360. For services to be provided through the extended terms as provided by Project Engineer Happen Associates Inc. in relation to feasibility study through the awarded professional service contract number CACD 1-18-0360814 for Dow County Drainage Number 1 Delta Region Water Management Project, subject to review and compliance with House Bill 1295. Move for approval. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. We do have executive session right Okay, we're going to be. Uh, <coughs> executive session, subject pursuant to subject D of Chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code to discuss the items listed therein. Any action to be taken will be taken in open court. I think we're, we're back from executive session. I yes, sir. There, there 9A, no, uh, no action report, and, and 9B, no action as well, sir. I believe that concludes all of our agenda items. Yes, sir. And I have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks, sir. Division and collectively to all of you and your Thank family. You. Likewise. Okay. Have a great one. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Don't forget to set your scale back 15 pounds. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I call the meeting with the Dowell County Commissioner's Court to order. That the minutes reflect that this meeting has been duly called and that a notice of this, this meeting has been posted in accordance with the Texas Open Meetings Act. The time now is 2, two o'clock and 2 minutes p.m. We will begin with a roll call. David Fuentes, Precinct 1. Joe Flores, Precinct 3. Ellie Torres, Precinct 4. Richard Cortez, County Judge, that constitutes a quorum. And the tradition is that today we are honored to have Mr. Cruz Yanis joining us to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Sergeant Giannis is a Vietnam veteran who served from August 20, 1969 through April 16, 1971 in the U.S. Army. He was awarded the Bronze Star Medal with the B device, the Bronze Star, the Combat Infantry Badge, the Army Commendation Medal, the Vietnam Campaign Medal, the Vietnam Service Medal, and the National Defense Service Medal. Mr. Giannis, is a member of the Color Guard Post 8788. Thank you for your service. I put the right hand over your hearts. Veteran, stand, put, freeze, and arm. I pledge allegiance to the flag and to the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Order. Please remain standing. Please remain standing. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the democracy alive in our country and for the freedom to worship you, especially on this Thanksgiving holiday. Let us be grateful for all that we have and help our elected government and all in positions of power and authority to govern wisely and for the common good of all. Amen. 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 Okay, you approve the, the consent agenda. Judge Commissioners, with your permission, I'd like to pull from consent agenda uh, items 9A and 9B. Move for approval without many and nine beats. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Judge Commissioners, for the record, Commissioner Fuentes is abstaining from any discussion and or action with respect to consent agenda items 9A and 9B. May I have a motion to approve 9A and 9B? So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Let the record show that Commissioner Fuentes abstained from, from any action. Thank you. We're going to go into item 13A. Go ahead. Judge, commissioners, ladies and gentlemen of the public, thank you for having me today. 
Um, I am extremely honored uh, to be in the presence of a, uh, a real American hero here, Judge. Commissioners, uh, would you please stand? Sir? Um, next to me is uh, Vietnam combat veteran Cruz Yanez. He's a highly decorated combat veteran. Uh, if I can uh, please give you a little history as to the reason why I'm here today uh, to introduce him is um, this man has he served country courageously and with valor. I've never seen anything like what this man has done in his DD-214, and the citations will speak for themselves as well. I will have someone um, honor us by reading those citations here shortly. After visiting with other veterans and uh, our congressman, uh, Congressman Filemon Vela and Congressman uh, Gonzalez, and the House Committee, the chairman of the House Committee on Veterans Affairs, uh, uh, Congressman Tanaka from California, last, we met with them last week Friday. We visited regarding this matter, a matter that is truly dear to all of us veterans here today, and th that is that this man was, it, th he has experienced an injustice, and we need to correct that. He should have been awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor for his, the feats of valor and courage that he uh, exemplified in combat, and we want to correct that. Hidalgo County has been in the forefront of all our veterans' issues. And uh, we, we would like for this issue to be revis revisited again, Judge, in the way of a resolution in support of Congressman Gonzalez's efforts to secure this man's Congressional Medal of Honor. Uh, absolutely. absolutely. And uh, we'll be happy to do that. May I introduce the commander, and he's been commander of everything here in District 18, from Laredo to Brownsville in South Texas, and he has been the commander of District 18 and the post in 87, 88, McAllen. Homer Gallegos to uh, lead us and, and also say a few remarks regarding Congre uh, Com Comrade Yanis here. Thank you. Judge, commissioners, uh, we're honored to be here with you. But this gentleman, uh, well, we grew up together. He was a couple of grades ahead of me. But this young man, with uh, the, the awards that he got, most of us would not have come back alive. The, what they're going to say about him on the awards were two silver st stars, an air medal, a bronze star. That's just the heavy, heavy medals that are right below the Congressional Medal of Honor. But this reminds me of something I did in college for research, where a young Hispanic boy from this area was told by the sergeant, I'm going to recommend you for the Medal of Honor because you saved several of our members from being killed. And the captain said, I can't write this guy. He can't even speak English. Had nothing to do with English. Had to do with his bravery. But you're going to hear what about the exploits of Cruz. And sometimes I tell him, Cruz, I don't know how you came back alive with all those awards. Most people would have said he got them posthumously after he gave his life. So I'm going to have Tony read this. But he's also one of those veterans that's very proud and humble. He's not going to tell you, because we have some veterans that want to be what, they, what we call wannabes. And they all put on some awards that they never earned. But they're wannabes. And he's one of those that will not tell you that he earned this or he did this. He just displays them like we do. And I tell him, when I go to talk to kids in school, I tell them, you have a report card? And they say, yes. If you don't behave, what happens? Go to the principal. Say, well, see, this is my report card. Because if I didn't behave in the military, I would not have earned a good conduct ribbon. If I didn't do my work uh, uh, above and beyond, I wouldn't have gotten some of those awards. The same thing with him in battle. For his life and for his friends, he did all that. And you're right, on the prayer, we live in the greatest country in the world, but it's because of our men and women that have served and those that have given their lives for what we have. And some people don't appreciate the freedom that we have in this country. They take it for granted. So I'm going to have Tony read something, and, and as you listen to these words, some of you are going to probably get emotional because I don't think Cruz would have made it back. In fact, a lot of his friends did not come back. So I, with that, I've introduced Tony Cordova. And Tony is a Purple Heart recipient. He's another one of those veterans that was wounded in Vietnam, has his awards and everything. But he's another one that was lucky to come back. And Tony's going to read this to you.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tony Cordova, and uh, I am also a Vietnam veteran. And as Homer mentioned, I am a Purple Heart recipient. Uh, we refer to that medal as uh, the, the Military Order of the Purple Heart. But jokingly, we like to refer to it as the Enemy's Marksmanship Medal. <laughs> uh, Cruz was born in Mexico, but he is now an American citizen. And he was inducted into the U.S. Army, not knowing where he was going to go or what he was going to do, but he ended up in an infantry unit that was engaged in some of the heaviest fighting in, in Vietnam. Uh, he and I are friends. We both serve on the uh, a VFW 8788 Honor Guard, which we do the military funerals. And uh, uh, we've become pretty close. But I have never had the privilege of reading his citations that back up the awards that he received. And I'm honored. And, and humbled and privileged to be here. That he selected me to read his citations to you. This is a copy of what is referred to as a DD-214, and it has all the information and all the records and everything that you did while you were in the military. In one paragraph here, it indicates decorations, medals, badges, commendations, citations, and campaign ribbons awarded or authorized. It lists the National Defense Service Medal, the Vietnam Service Medal, the Army Commendation Medal, the Vietnam Campaign Medal, and for valor, the Bronze Star Medal, two awards, the Silver Star Medal, two awards, the Combat Infantryman's Badge, which is the badge that you see on his chest with a wreath around a, a rifle. That is called the Combat Infantryman's Badge, and they don't hand those out like candy. They have to be earned. Believe you me, he earned them. I have a copy of his citations here that I would like to read. The first award, 23 September 1970. By direction of the President, under the provisions of Executive Order 11046, 24 August 1962, the reason for this, for heroism in connection with the ground operations against a hostile force in the Republic of Vietnam. Then, first class, Private First Class Yanis distinguished himself by heroism on August the 28th, 1970, when his unit became engaged with a determined enemy force. With complete disregard for his own safety, he exposed himself to the intense hostile fire. As he moved forward to the point of heaviest contact and began placing a heavy volume of suppressive fire upon the insurgent forces. His actions were an instrument were an inspiration to the other members of his unit and were instrumental in the successful completion of the mission. His display of personal bravery and devotion to duty is in keeping with the highest tradition of the military service and reflects great credit upon himself, his unit, and the United States Army. Second award, 5 January 1971. For gallantry in action, while engaged in the military operations involving conflict with an armed hostile enemy force 
in the Republic of Vietnam. Specialist for Yanez distinguished himself by exceptionally valorous actions in, on 15 December 1970 while serving in the Republic of Vietnam. While a member of a special ambush squad, Specialist for Yanez allowed the enemy soldiers to approach dangerously close to his position before opening up on the hostiles with rifle fire. During the initial contact, the enemy fell back to a safer position and began to return fire. Specialist for Yanez, disregarding his own safety, exposed himself to the deadly fire as he pursued the hostiles to a place to place suppressive fire on their position. His gallant actions are in keeping with the highest tradition <coughs> of the military service and reflects great credit upon himself and his unit and the United States Army. The third citation, 26 February, 1971. For gallantry in action while engaged in the military operations involving conflict with the armed enemy hostile force in the Republic of Vietnam, Specialist for Yanez distinguished himself by exceptionally valorous action on January 3, 1971 in the Republic of Vietnam. When going to the aid of a friendly element of his uh, in heavy contact, Specialist for Yanez, with complete disregard for his own personal safety, advanced 85 meters through a devastating hail of enemy fire before reaching the besieged position. Despite the hostile fire all around him, Specialist for Yanez moved about from position to position, laying down heavy suppressive fire and keeping his commanding officer informed of the tactical situation. When he, sir, when he observed a comrade wounded in action, Specialist for Yanez moved forward under heavy fire to administer aid. His gallant actions are in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit upon himself, his unit, and the United States Army. I. Uh, apologize to you and everybody here if I got a little choked up, but through all these escapades, through all these actions, he never got wounded. The only thing I can say is his guardian angel was busy as hell. I flew 275 combat missions in a, as a door gunner in a helicopter. I got shot down three times, but only got wounded once. But I got shot in the ass, but not because I was running. They were shooting up. <laughs> <laughs> they were shooting up, and I was shooting down. But it gives me great pride to introduce to you my buddy, Louis Yanez. Uh, Felix, just to say a few words, uh, uh, <laughs> really few, is uh, I'm very humbled and appreciative of what uh, the, uh, Felix is doing, and I thank you very much, commissioners, and uh, uh, I'll leave it up to Felix to continue with uh, th this uh, the progress as far as uh, the Purple Heart. I mean, the, no, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want no Purple Heart. I'll do uh, about the Medal of Honor and, and so on. So thank you very much for having us here, and, and thank you very much for hearing our, our, our uh, presentation. Felix? Thank you. Well, well like I said, he was humble. Yeah. <laughs> Judge, he's very modest. That's if you can get two or three words out of him uh, in a day, <laughs> you're lucky. But uh, I leave it to you again, and I 
we request your support in the way of resolution we're, we're, in support of yes, the, the effort to have him. We'll uh, be happy restored. to have him back. And thank you very much for, for your Can service. Can we have again. a picture with you all here? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> On either side. Yeah. Yeah. Seven years. Yeah. Uh, I hadn't heard that one. <laughs> <laughs> do I need to move this, or is it good? No, that's fine. Sure. Okay, let's move on to number 15A, resolution to honor Borderland Hardware. I shopped there many times. Excuse me, I was thanking our heroes. Item 15A, um, under Precinct 1 Commissioner David Fuentes, is a resolution in honor of Borderland Hardware um, celebrating its 100th year in business in the city of Mercedes. And we're honored to have um, the founders of the store, Robert and Loretta, as well as their son, Ken Eilers, and his wife, uh, and his wife um, Debbie, to accept this resolution and in our presence. And Bob will say a few words afterwards. Whereas Borderland Hardware is the oldest hardware store in Mercedes, celebrating its 100th year in business. And whereas in 1908, traveling salesman E.E. E. Jack Johnson first visited Mercedes and later opened Borderland Hardware with an associate on January 1st, 1919. Together they maintained and operated the store on Texas and 2nd Street with a complete line of hardware and implements. And whereas Mr. Robert Eilers moved to Mercedes after serving in the U.S. Army during World War II, beginning his employment at Borderland Hardware on October 1, 1949, and worked his way up to manager in 1955. And whereas the store and business was dissolved on October 1, 1969, the Eilers family purchased Borderland Hardware of Mercedes, having family members Loretta, Robert's wife, join the business in 1966. Kenneth, their son, joined in 1977, and Debbie, Kenneth's wife, joined in 1992. And whereas after 80 years at the location, Texas um, and Business 83, the Borderland Hardware Inventory and Store was moved to a new location at Ohio and Business 83. The additional space allowed the business to broaden many lines of merchandise and provide room for expansion and hardware services. And whereas Robert Eitler's received the prestigious Gold Hammer Award from Eastwood Company in 1999 for 50 years of dedicated service to the hardware industry. Kenneth Eilers was elected president of the National Retail Hardware Association in 2009. After all this time, there are some things that remain the same. 
being a locally owned and operated business and staying true to the commitment of providing the very best in merchandise and service to the many good people who visit the store. Now therefore be it resolved that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court does hereby congratulate and honors Borderland Hardware on its 100th year anniversary. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries. Congratulations again. On behalf, on behalf of the family, I'd like to thank you, thank you for this presentation today. Uh, like, it's so great to see the veterans here. Dad is one of the few remaining World War II veterans in Mercedes. So that shows he's 92. Yeah. So that shows how long he's been there. He's actually been working at the store for 70 years, 70 years. So that's really amazing. We've had the store 50 years in our family. But uh, with God's blessings, we've been able to grow and continue to grow, and uh, we appreciate the community that's supported us and the great employees that we've had for all these years. I mean, they're the reason why we can take off and come here today. So thank you once again, Commissioner Fuentes and your office for getting this for us. And, and uh, we had a wonderful 100th anniversary about three weeks ago. Got um, flag over the Hadar County, flag over the U.S. Capitol, flag over the State Capitol, and many letters from many officers are... Uh, so once again, thank you very much, and we appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you. Whatever you smoke or drink, send it to me, okay? I want to have some of that. Thank you both. Thank you. 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 Sure. Okay, why don't we go ahead and finish with the veterans and go on to 13B, Billy? Thank you, Judge. Commissioners, uh, what you have before you is a, um, a report. It's um, for the third quarter report. It has uh, statistics, figures that uh, regarding the work that we do here for Hidalgo County Veteran Services. Uh, Are we supposed to have a, a report? Well, we should have one. Okay. It's I know that we made copies for okay. each and every one of you. Right. I apologize. No problem. No, no. Go ahead and read it. You can look at them, and then we're done. You don't need it? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> to read it from up here. Thank you, Judge. <laughs> if, uh, I'll introduce my staff here that uh, they're, they're back in the office working uh, my staff consists of four service officers, including myself, Samuel Perez Jr., Alejandro Figueroa, Alma Martinez, Raymond Herrera. The last two are the last, the two new hires that we had, thanks to you. And, uh, of course, our supportive staff is um, Dolores Guzman and Amanda Silva, Matthew and uh, Griselda Uresti. Um, I think what's significant here out of all of this that we have here is that the number of veterans and uh, the services that we provide has increased exponentially uh, compared to what we used to have before. Uh, year to date, I think it's uh, we have uh, 
So far, brought in $4,659,058.32, you know, to, to the economy here in Hidalgo County. And that is very, I mean, far short of what I know what we, we brought in so far. That's a lot short of what we have been brought in. Last year was over $150 million and plus some change as well. So we're doing, uh, we're doing uh, a really good job, I think. Okay. Uh, we have a satellite office in Mercedes as well. On Wednesdays, we, we, visited, we visit over there, and, uh, and we are seeing so many veterans over there as well. And I think that if you, once you get your report, it'll show the comparison and the comparison and contrast of the number of veterans that we see. In, Mac Allen, in the Mac Allen office, the first quarter, we saw 1,240 veterans. In the Mercedes office, we saw 121 for a total of 1,361 veterans. The second quarter, in the Mac Allen office, we saw, tw we saw 1,242 veterans. In the Mercedes office, we saw 104 for a total of 1,346 veterans. The third quarter, we saw 1,229 veterans in the Mac Allen office. In Mercedes, we saw 107 for a total of 1,336 veterans. We've seen a total of 4,043 veterans year to date. And uh, that's just the third quarter. And I expect that uh, the report card from the Department of Veterans Affairs, when they put it out here for fiscal year 20. 28, 2019 is going to show a dramatic increase in the amount of money that comes into the, uh, the economy here for Hidalgo County. It should be uh, close to $160 million for fiscal year uh, 20, 2019. Um, this, this report is available to you. I'm, I apologize. Uh, we did make copies for everybody, uh, but uh, we will provide that to you as well. If you have any questions, please I'll be here for a while still. Well, thank you very much for that good report, Felix, and thank you for doing a good job for the veterans. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Okay. 5A. Good morning, Commissioners, Judge. I'm sorry. Afternoon. <laughs> Rosalinda Cantu <laughs> presenting for the District Attorney's Office. Uh, item 5A, HIDA Task Force, authorization and approval to accept an extension request on fiscal year 2018, grant number G18SS0002A, HIDA grant from December 31st, 2019 through uh, June 30th, 2020. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Item 6A. Good afternoon, Judge and Commissioners. Uh, item 6A, uh, 2018 Operation Stone Garden 1284, we're requesting authorization and approval to submit a budget amendment and Price Act waiver in reference to Operation Stone Garden 2018. Move for approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Thank you very much. Item 7A. Good morning, Judge, Commissioners, Chief Deputy Gonzalez for the Precinct 3 Constable's Office. Today we have discussion, consideration, and approval to appoint Roque Vela Jr. and Ralph Ochoa as Deputy Constables by Constable Larry Gallardo Jr., Constable Precinct 3, in accordance with Texas Local Government Code, Section 86.011. I move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you. Judge Commissioners, if I may, under item 8, there's no action under item 8, A1 and 2, and I'm going to ask Ms. Uh, Diana Walpa just to give us a very quick uh, briefing on our wellness program. Good afternoon, Commissioners, Judge. Uh, I'm here to present uh, two events that we're going to have. The first one is going to be next Monday at the health department. We're going to have a workout like the one that we have here at the annex. So we're going to have Mr. Olivares join us, and also Commissioner Cantu is going to be there. And the second one, I'm going to give you a flyer for the third community wellness expo. I'm just going to come on. Is 
the third community wellness expo that is going to be hosted on December 7th from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. We're also going to have the, a yoga class, so that's going to be really nice, and we hope that your employees and you join us on this event. Lastly, we did last week went to the county editor department. We did a uh, body analysis and a presentation on nutrition and healthy lifestyle. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's all I have for today. Thank you, Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you very much. Judge Commissioners, uh, if I may, item D, uh, I'm asking the approval of a purchase <coughs> agreement of certain real property located within the Cibolo Industrial Park subdivision in the city of Edinburgh. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Mm -hmm. Anyone opposed? Motion carried. And the second action item under D is requesting authority of a county treasurer to issue an earnest money check to Edwards Abstract and title company in the amount of $5,000 after review and auditing procedures are completed by a county auditor. Move for approval. Again. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carried. And my apologies. Item C, and I'll backtrack here, is yeah. discussion, consideration, and action on an inter interlocal agreement between the county of Hidalgo and the city of Hidalgo regarding a health and WIC building. Judge Commissioners, this will formalize uh, an arrangement uh, with the city of Hidalgo with respect to housing uh, that we've had uh, for a number of years. So we can continue into the future with our health and WIC uh, uh, offices uh, having a presence, Hidalgo. And uh, I will, uh, upon Commissioner's Court approval, we will make sure that we have all the proper insurances and documentation uh, forwarded over uh, to the uh, treasure, uh, to the uh, County Auditor's Office. We move for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. 9A. Good afternoon, Judge. I'm not going to comment on how no. skinny you're getting, but it's okay. I'm, I'm kind of staying the way. <laughs> I can't get too skinny, I'm right? I'm jealous. <laughs> Judge Commissioners, uh, Raul Zubiero, Human Resources. On the items that are listed first, we need uh, uh, item 9A, requesting a waiver of the budget amendment policy for personnel-related amendments, if applicable, for personnel items that are listed. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. On the items <coughs> with regard to the uh, observations by the auditor's office, the personnel adjustment request forms that were in transit have all been signed and attached, and the funding is subject to funding uh, from the budget office. This is for just the month of December, really, uh, for this year, uh, for those items that are there. But uh, item 9B is for uh, the uh, district attorney's office for the HIDA. Department, uh, it's Chapter 59 funds. are asking to delete uh, slot 0028, Hyda Task Force Operations Supervisor, which is a grade 17, and instead they want to create a criminal investigator 2, slot 0046, which is a grade 14. It's a lower grade position. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carried. Item C for uh, <coughs> Judge Noe Gonzalez at 370 at District Court. Uh, the judge is asking the pool to create a full-time temporary position effective 1126 through 1231. He's asking for a uh, position transition. He has an employee that is retiring, and he wants to transition the employee. So the, the position will only be probably uh, in force uh, maybe a couple of months while he hires somebody, gets them trained, and then hires that person into the retiring slot. So we're, we recommend approval. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Item D for Justice of the Peace Precinct 4, uh, Judge Espinosa. He's got a position or two that are uh, out, uh, uh, medical or, or, or similar problem, and so he's, he's needing some help. So he's asking for approval to, uh, to create a full-time temporary position, uh, uh, effective 11, 26 through the end of the month, and if we need if you need to next year, we'll come back uh, in later December. But uh, we recommend approval. It uh, would be temporary slot 009, clerk 2 at a grade 3. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carried. Thank you, Judge. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you very much. Judge, Thank commissioners, you. with your permission, I will. Uh, Mr. Patrick is out of town, so for the adult probation. Acceptance of statement of financial position for fiscal year 19 for Hidalgo County Community Supervisions and Corrections Department. This is uh, in accordance with local government code section 140.004. And as a quick uh, briefing, uh, the adult or the uh, the financial position uh, on their total assets is $2,654,909.01. And their total 
uh, liabilities is $660,507.42, giving them total fund balance uh, balances of $1,994,401.59 and total fund balances and liabilities $2,654,909.01. I have a motion to accept. Is that correct? So move for approval. Yes. yes, sir. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Good afternoon, Judge Commissioners. Diana Serna for the Urban County Program. Our very first item has a correction on it. Although the backup information is correct, I would like to correct the agenda item to read approval of second amendment to interlocal agreement between the county, urban county program and Hidalgo County drainage district number one for the construction of drainage structures and improvements of the 2015 GLO flood grant trench and drain phase two and phase three project located in precinct. Four. Move for approval. Second. Opposed in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Our second item under A is the consideration and approval of a construction contract change order for the 2015 General Land Office flood grant for the Trenton Drain 2. The change order number one will increase the current construction contract with Science Brothers Construction LLC in the amount of 296000 028. Approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. 11A3 is consideration and approval to authorize a county judge to sign any and all documents associated with change orders in our amendment <coughs> pertaining to the 2015 GLO flood grant contract. Approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> Item 11B is requesting approval of your. 32-2019 Urban County Program Interlocal Agreements with 15 participating cities and the authorization for Hidalgo County Judge Richard F. Cortez to sign any and all agreements. Approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. Aye. No one opposed. Motion carries. Thank you. That's all Thank I have. Thank you very much, Donna. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioners, there is no action under item 12A, Elections Administration, today. Okay. We have a planning department. Next item is 14A. Good afternoon, Judge Commissioners. My name is Jose Tobar with the Planning Department. Item 14A is for the Pipeline and Utility Permit. Quintanilla Island Associates is applying for a Pipeline Utility Permit, proposing a cross via open cut western road with a 24 inch storm pipe. The Precinct 3 Office has reviewed and approved the proposed crossing on western road. We recommend approval. Approval. Same. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> Item 14B Pipeline Utility Permit. North Alamo Water Supply Corporation is applying for a pipeline and utility permit proposing to extend a four inch water line along Sunflower Road via trench excavation. The prison four office has reviewed and approved the proposed water line extension along Sunflower Road. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. No one opposed. Motion carries. Item 14C preliminary approval for America Business Industrial Park subdivision is located in prison two. <coughs> It's a 46 industrial lot subdivision. Look, the flood zone is located in flood zone C and flood zone A. Drainage will be provided by storm sewer system and detention by widening the existing drain ditch. The subdivision lies in the rural area of the county. Water will be provided by Military Highway Water Supply Corporation and sewer by septic tank system. Recommend move, approval. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Item 14C2, final approval for Alisa Marie Torres subdivision. Is located in Precinct 3. It's a one lot, single family lot subdivision. The subdivision lies within flood zone X. Drainage will be provided by natural percolation within the proposed lots, and surface runoff will be drained into Dolphin Road, Roadside Ditch. The subdivision lies in the ETJ of the city of McAllen and was approved by said city. Water will be provided by our SUD and sewer by septic tank system. Approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Item 2B. Uh, final approval for Josie Vera subdivision is located at Precinct 4. It's a five single family lot subdivision. The subdivision lies within flood zone X as per FEMA. Drainage will be provided by natural percolation within the proposed lot, and surface runoff will be drained into Cesar Chavez Roadside Ditch. The subdivision lies in the ETJ of City of Edinburgh and was approved by the said city. 
water by North Alamo and sewer by septic tank system. We have a motion to approve. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 One opposed. Motion carries. Final approval for La Reserva Phase 1B is located on Precinct 4 with 27 single family lot subdivision. The subdivision lies within flood zone X and flood zone A. Drainage will, uh, has been provided by storm sewer system and detention has been provided by existing drainage. The subdivision lies in the ETJ of the city of Edinburgh and was approved by said city. Water will be provided by North Alamo and sewer by septic tanks. Move for approval. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 And one opposed. Motion carries. Uh, to D, final approval for Caminos de Abraham subdivision phase two is located in precinct three. It's a 99 single family lot subdivision within flood zone C. Drainage will be provided by storm sewer, discharging into an existing regional drainage detention facility. The subdivision lies in the ETJF mission and was approved by said city. Water will be provided by our SAD and sewer by septic tank systems. Approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. 2E for final approval, Las Encinitas Phase 2 is located in Precinct 4. It's 114 single family and 10 commercial lot subdivision. The subdivision lies within flood zone X. Drainage will be provided by storm sewer system and detention by widening the existing drainage. Water will be provided by North Alamo and sewer by septic tank systems. Approval. Second. Uh, oh, last oh, one. Oh, 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 uh, I, I have yes, a, sir. I have a call for a question. Uh, all these colonias, I mean, they're not colonias, or are they colonias? No, sir, they're subdivisions, they're, model subdivisions. They're, they're, all, they're all subdivisions. That's correct. Okay, I just want the public to know that. We have a motion to approve. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Final would be uh, two, three, final approval with financial guarantee. Las Comadres, number five, is located in Precinct 3. It's a 76 uh, family lot subdivision within flood zone X. Drainage will be provided by storm sewer discharging into an existing regional detention facility. The subdivision lies in the ETJ of the city of Mission and was approved by said city. Water will be provided by our SAD and sewer by septic tank. The final approval with cash deposit in the amount of $15,328 will be secured to construct a two-chair driveways and two single driveways. Motion approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. aye. Anyone opposed? The motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Item 16A. Uh, good afternoon, Judge Commissioners. Uh, <clears throat> item 16A, request an approval to enter into a permit agreement between the County of Hidalgo and the Hidalgo County Irrigation District Number 2 concerning the construction of a bridge over an irrigation canal for the Precinct 2 Dicker Road project. Move for approval. Second. <clears throat> All those in favor say aye. 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 One opposed? Motion carries. Item 16B1, approval of an order authorizing Hidalgo County to enter into an advanced funding agreement with the Texas Department of Transportation for the Precinct 2 Nolana Loop project from FM 1426 to FM 907 with authority for the county judge to sign the order. So moved. Second. Opposed in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Item 16B2, approval of advanced funding agreement between Hidalgo County and Texas Department of Transportation for the Hidalgo County Precinct 2 Nolana Loop Road project from FM 1426 to FM 907 that being CSJ 0921-02-361, with authority for the county judge to docu-sign required documentation. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. 16B3, approval to issue check payable to the Texas Department of Transportation Trust Fund in the amount of 81800 for the county's estimated share of direct state costs for right-of-way acquisition for the Hidalgo County Precinct 2 Nolana Road project with authority for the county treasurer to issue check after review, audit, and processing procedures are completed by the county auditor. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Judge Commissioners. Thank uh, you. Have a happy Thanksgiving. You too. Thank you. And congrats. Good job. <clears throat> Good afternoon, Judge. Good afternoon, Commissioners. Armin Garza, Precinct 3, Item 17A. Request an approval to accept counteroffer to purchase a tract of land known as parcels number 17 associated with mile 3 from North Tom Gill Road to Goodwin Road, row CSJ 0921-02334 with the authority of county judge to sign the administrative evaluation and approval form. Motion for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. I have a good afternoon and a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you.
Morning, Judge Morning. Commissioners. Joe Chaw, Hidalgo County Precinct 4. <clears throat> Excuse me. Item uh, 18A, uh, requesting authorization to install an all-way stop signs at the intersection of Carmen Avila Road and Mile 22 and a half North. A uh, traffic study was conducted, and uh, we're requesting this based off their recommendations. Approval. Second. Those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Commissioners. Right. Thank you. Nineteen A. Morning, Judge Commissioners. That includes Department of Budget Management. Uh, item nineteen A one. Discussion, consideration, and authorization of emergency expenditure, as per local government code section one eleven point zero seven zero. And this is to address um, the purchase of new county facilities uh, to address the overcrowding that we have in some of our county facilities. And and uh, over and above the uh, the uh, overcrowding that we have in our county facilities. Uh, we have been dealing now with, uh, for, for a bit now, the health and safety issue that we've had with our um, elections administration building. Uh, it, it has become quite apparent uh, that that issue, uh, uh, we're at a point where we need to do something. And so over and above the uh, space constraints uh, and in compliance with uh, 111070, the health and safety uh, factor would be that the uh, rodent uh, issue or the infestation that we have uh, at that facility um, the the solution uh, is is going to necessitate uh, a complete uh, just uh, overhaul of that facility, and so uh, we need to address that uh, today. So that's part of this. Uh, um, uh, and that's not necessarily what we're paying. That's just what we're budgeting. Yes, yes. correct. Okay. Move for approval. All those in favor say aye. Aye. No one opposed. Motion carried. Thank you. The 19A2 is approval of the 2019 appropriation of funds from general fund fund balance to countywide administration in the amount of $4 million pursuant to the emergency appropriation authorized above uh, under the previous item. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 No one opposed. Motion carried. Item 19A3 is consideration and approval of resolution designating the county judge of the county of Hidalgo as authorized representative of the county of Hidalgo to give notice of intent to reimburse expenditures with proceeds of tax exempt obligations. Move for approval. Second. Opposed in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone aye. opposed? Motion carries. Mm-hmm. Item 19 uh, B is approval of salary schedule related changes in accordance with the Hidalgo County Classification and Compensation Pay Plan uh, as listed on the agenda. This is a discretionary step for an ADA 2 uh, from step 1 to step 3. Move for approval. All those in favor say aye. Aye. No one opposed. Motion carries. Uh, Finally, 19C is approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for revenues received uh, and interest earnings and other miscellaneous revenues from various capital project funds and appropriation of certified certified funds and available fund balances of set uh, capital projects. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. No one opposed. Motion carries. Thank Thank you, you Justice Commissioner. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Let the drum roll roll, the exciting part of the meeting. <laughs> Marty, Corre y se va. take there it away. Go. 20A1 is acceptance and approval of the interlocal uh, cooperation agreement buying between Hidalgo County Appraisal District and the County of Hidalgo, and this is in connection with participation in our group health. I'm going to need to upstate judge. Okay. I have a motion. Uh, so moved. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Let the record show that Commissioner Fuentes abstained from voting. B1, adult probation, acceptance. Uh, Ms. Smarty, for the record, there is a, uh, uh, a uh, open, uh, uh, I'm sorry? Right. There is a public participation form that has been filed. Uh, it is for 20B1. It is by Ms. Fern McClarity. Fern McClarity? Okay. Okay. Go. Okay. Thank you. Going, going once, on. going twice. I have no next. idea, but we have, this has been uh, an ongoing ILA for many years. Go. And they do pay their own, their own uh, premiums. So Item B1. It was on B1. Public participation was on B1. Yeah, it was on B1. Oh, it's B1. B1. Adult yeah. probate. Oh, I'm sorry. This is acceptance of the submitted proposal and approval of award uh, 
to a job to a job order contractor, Noble Texas, through its through our participation with the By Board Cooperative Purchasing Program in the amount of fifty two thousand for the installation of partition walls for adult probation officers through the requisition and purchase order system that we have in the county. Move for approval. Yeah. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. Under precinct one. C1, where uh, acceptance of the submitted proposal and approval award to a job order contractor, ERCON LLC, uh, for con uh, awarded under contract 581 through the by board in the amount of $309,430.32 for the installation of a turnkey emergency generator uh, through the requisition and PO system. First approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Item D1, requesting approval of the MOU between the Dalton County WIC program and Food Bank RGB for the pur purpose of donating return formula received at the WIC clinics in order to comply with the WIC state policy <coughs> FD 19.01 managing return formula, including approval for the Dalton County WIC program director, Ms. Larissa Ramirez, to sign the document. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. And one opposed. Motion carries. D1, Elections Department, approval to terminate current agreement with Drake Communications for the support and maintenance services of the Keystone IVR system used by the Elections Department. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 And one opposed. Motion carries. F1 is for the Sheriff's Office, approval to purchase equipment through AT&T Corporation awarded through the DIR contract as uh, posted on the agenda. In the amount of seventy-five thousand seven hundred and fourteen dollars. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. G1 is for the auditor's office. We're requesting exemption from competitive bidding requirements under Texas Local Government Code 262-024-A4, a professional service. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 And when opposed, motion carries. B. Acceptance and approval of a letter of engagement between Dell County and Gray CPA Consulting PC in the amount of $10,100 for the provision of consulting services for caseware updates and new methodologies uh, as, and, more, and more specifically described in the document contained herein, subject to final review, uh, which has been done by the DA and subject to the completion our acceptance of the Form 1295 with authority for Maria Astilia Duran, County Auditor, to sign. Approval. Second. Now, what is this? This is for their uh, caseware. You want to describe it to them? It's for our capware preparation program called Caseware, and uh, they're helping us utilize it better because we're we're not able currently to do some of the stuff through the caseware program, so we have to do it manually, and so they're going to help um, with. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve. All those in favor say aye. Aye. You want to aye. vote? No. Okay. That to oppose. Anyone, anyone is opposition to this motion? Okay. Motion carries. And I want to wish everyone a blessed Thanksgiving Thank to you. all of you and your families. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you, Marty. Judge Commissioners, for open form, we do have one participant. Ms. Fern McClarity. <coughs> Fern McClarity. Okay, Judge, we don't have any other participants. Uh, and uh, unless there is a need to go into closed session for any discussion, um, um, I have three claims that I can address in open session. Okay. All okay. Right. So with that being said, uh, we are we are not going to close session. So we are not do we are not doing 22A, 22B. Uh, under close 22 C D and E uh, under open session 23 item 23 item 23 a there's no action to be taken 23 B there is no action to be uh, taken item 24 a real estate acquisition appropriation for same there's no action to be taken today 24 B pending and or potential litigation there is no action to be taken today 24 C judge commissioners I would like settlement authority to make an offer uh, in the amount of seven hundred and sixteen dollars and nineteen cents. Move for approval. Second. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Item twenty four D claim of Petra Trevino, Judge Commissioners, I'd like settlement authority to make an offer uh, in the amount of two hundred and eleven dollars and fifty three cents. So move. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. And I will first apologize before I try and pronounce the <laughs> name. 
but uh, Judge Commissioners, item 24E in settlement of or the claim of, I'd like settlement authority uh, for the claim of Fati Haj Ya Yaya uh, in the amount of $1,878.39. Move for approval. I think you did pretty good. House <laughs> <laughs> of ever say aye. 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 I want to oppose. Motion carried. Okay. There is no uh, action on, uh, there's no reason to go back to close or open session. Uh, and prior to adjournment, uh, again, as I've advised, uh, we do have commissioner's court next week. And so just for the constituency also, uh, we have commissioner's court uh, December 3rd, which will be at uh, Greenwich District 130 and commissioner's court 2 p.m. December uh, 10th. Uh, 9.30 and 10 a.m. respectively, and December 17th, 9.30 and 10 a.m. respectively. Okay. With that, I, on behalf of the Commissioner's Court, I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving, have it safe, and have it with your families. Uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. Mm -hmm. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We are adjourned. Just following up.